चैतन चरता हमलोग मध्यलीला चैप्टर सिक्स टेक्स्ट वन एट थ्री शून्य भट्टाचार्य हैल परम विष्णु मुखे नामी सारे वाणी हैल स्तंभी सो टिल नाउ फॉर अ सीरीज ऑफ वर्सेस व्हाट लार्ड चैतन्य स्पीकिंग हैज बीन स्टेटेड बट नाउ द रिएक्शन ऑफ सारो भट्टाचार्य इज बीन टोल्ड लॉर्ड चैतन्य ह� Phenomenal scholarship, astonishing logic, and brilliant insight to checkmate all of Sarvam Bhattacharya's arguments. And you now we can get some inkling of the situation where suppose there is a there is a famous cricketer. And also all of him is tennis players, say. Eh? And the tennis player takes under his wings a rookie player, a new person who is trying to learn some, who wants to do something. Uh, so now, who is uh, now this uh, tennis maestro thinks that I am doing some favor for the rookie by training him. And then suddenly, as the as they are playing say exhibition match or a practice match suddenly the rookie starts playing such shots that the maestro is stunned and the maestro starts improving his starts playing better shots he is just playing a little nonchalantly earlier but even the best of what the rookie plays best of what the maestro plays uh, is not adequate to counter the rookie and then as the rookie plays one shot and next shot and a dazzling array of shots which is better than the best word that the maestro can offer and the maestro is simply stunned stunned, uh, stunned into defeat the word stunned is often used both ways sometimes it is used to refer to how someone may be defeated and, and stunned also used to be astonished so both ways someone is astonished and silenced into defeat so if the maestro gets defeated, he says, who is this person? This surely is not a rookie. A player like that cannot be a rookie. So, so in, a, in a rough analogy, Lord Chaitanya is like that. That Lord Chaitanya is here focusing on the principle that it is not easy for us to move onwards towards higher understanding. So Lord Chaitanya adopts a special strategy to get Sadhubhama to lower his guard and then uh, after he lowered his guard just to, to give a blinding and transforming attack. So by acting very humbly, by putting himself in the position of a student, by hearing submissively for him, not just for a few hours, but for seven days, Lord Chaitanya softens the heart of Sarvahuma. And then, once the heart is softened, once the guards are lowered, then Lord Chaitanya springs to surprise, or as we say, the balls are googly. Such a googly that Sarvahuma is flummoxed. And here, the, the school of thought that he had cherished and championed and for so many so long now he sees it being dismantled and demolished by one after another a succession of penetrating and irresistible and irrefutable arguments and Sarum Bhattacharya as it is said over here is simply Shuni Bhattacharya Haila Parama Vismi Parama Vismi he is supremely astonished now here it's interesting that Sarvam Bhattacharya's reaction is not one of humiliation. That could easily have happened. Oh, who is this rookie? A maestro can actually feel humiliated and defeated by a rookie. Of course, the maestro will not feel so bad if he discovers that the rookie is not actually a rookie. And that's what Sarvam will find now in due course. That this young sannyasi is not just a young sannyasi, he is the Parabrahma, he is the Supreme Lord, as you will understand when Lord Chaitanya reveals 600 form, a special form to Sarva Bhattacharya. 
Now, how is it that Sarabha does not feel humiliated but is simply astonished? That is because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not dent his honor. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not make any ad hominem attacks against him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not try to um, uh, humiliate him by saying that what you are doing is wrong. He does not. He does not argue that anything needs to be done except that we simply have to work towards um, progressing in whatever level of situation we are in in our life. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu adopts this strategy. First he honors Sarvam Bhattacharya and then without insulting him systematically dismantles the arguments that he has been advancing. And Sarvabhata has that integrity to know when he has been defeated, to know when he has been countered, to know when he has been outwitted. And with that understanding, Sarvabhata moves on and prepares himself to be to try to fight. But he is fine that he is no longer able to fight. And he just gives up. Uh, he is uh, fought till the end. And he's found that he can no longer fight any further. He just gives up and he adopts the strategy that ultimately uh, whatever the truth is going to be revealed and that truth is going to be that um, the beliefs that he had were wrong and that now an alternative belief, alternative system of thought he has to accept which is not going to be easy. So Mukhena Nishas Nisarevani Hai Lastambhi Mukhena Nisarevani Actually nothing comes out of his He's not able to speak anything Mukhena Nisare Normally For a scholar there is so much to speak But here we find a scholar is silenced into um, complete Submission, not being able to say anything because he finds that this is just mm, too incredible. What what is this? What is this happening? How is this happening? He just can't figure it out, and he gives it up. As we'll see, Hila Sambhit, he was astonished, not knowing what to do, how to do, how to take it up. Prabhu kahe bhattacharya na kare vismay bhagavane bhakti. Parama Purusharthai so Seeing him astonished and tongue-tied Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes to his rescue Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Bhattacharya, na kar avismai Or do not be so astonished by Bhattacharya, why? Because Bhagavane Bhakti Parama Purusharthai Because devotion to the Supreme Lord is the Parama Purusharthai This is a special revelation that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will make That within the in personalist conception of things, it is often thought that uh, moksha is the highest attainment. And that is true at one level, which is the which is fourth purushartha. But moksha also has various levels and within moksha, the highest level of moksha is the moksha that is attained through the practice of sustained bhakti. And it is that bhakti uh, that is also not just the means to attain moksha, but it is also the perfection of moksha. As Krishna says that Madhbhaktim Lavate Param. After attaining liberation, the great soul attain me, thus they attain the highest system. Madhbhaktim Lavate Param, Lavate Param, Lavate Param. So here Krishna is stating that he is <coughs> the greatest well uh, that here, Yatra Mahaprabhu is saying that. This is, the, this is the conclusion, this is the highest summit of liberation and this is the truth, this is the Parama Purusharta hai. So sometimes Prema, at least with the Gaudiya Sampradaya, is considered not just, uh, Bhakti is not considered a means to Mukti, but uh, the summit of Bhakti that is Prema is considered to be the summit of all Purusharthas. It is the highest Purushartha. So 
how this is so we will discuss in our future talks